Many times a practitioner may question what patients are appropriate to place the Stepwell Custom AFO on. Several clinical scenarios fit quite well with the dispensing of the Custom Stepwell AFO. One of the uh, main indicators is the time of presentation that the patient has had with their complaints. Simply non-resolving foot pain of uh, three months or longer is a fairly good indication that there's a significant disruption in the patient's ability to carry out certain tasks in the day. Such interruptions in the tasks may be things of activities of daily living, it may involve occupation, or it may involve recreational pursuits. The patient presenting to your office has a significant symptom complex that is keeping them from performing certain tasks. It may take the form of distal tarsal tunnel. A classic example of distal tarsal tunnel will present as heel pain. Heel pain that's not resolving for three months or longer is a significant disruption in the patient's tasks and will present with pain over the medial aspect of the tarsal canal. Current orthopedic literature demonstrates that there may or may not be a positive tunnel sign. What has been presented in the literature is thickening of the fascia leads to entrapment of the distal nerves. This does hold up resolution of pain from such common things as stretching, foot orthotics, or change of shoes. The use of the Stepwell Custom AFO does address distal tarsal tunnel. In addition, chronic foot and ankle instability may be accounted for from the fact that ligamentous complex on the medial and lateral aspect of the ankle do not have the, pro the um, property of contractility. Therefore, once the ligament has been stretched, there will be permanent instability about the ankle joint. Perineal Achilles tendinopathies. The uh, complex of the tendinopathy is actually a degenerative process. It will present with pain about the posterior aspect of the leg with thickening of the fascia. This is a very difficult surgical area to address with the Achilles tendon. To prevent further degeneration, the patient is instructed to titrate the use of the, walk, of the Stepwell Custom AFO to the activity or task. The perineal tendon can become involved with athletes on uneven ground and may present as a cross-country runner that has continued pain on the lateral aspect of the ankle and does not respond to rest, ice, compression, physical therapy, foot orthotics, change of shoes. The use of a Stepwell Custom AFO immediately after the physical or recreational activity, such as cross-country running, can lead to continued training schedules for these athletic individuals. Achilles tendinopathy has a fairly significant downtime surgically and the use of a ankle foot brace does allow these patients to maintain their activities and you would titrate the functional use of the brace related to the tasks of the patient. In other words, you would want to identify the patient's tasks, what are important to them. It may be as simple as a FedEx deliveryman that may need to use the AFO to carry out his occupational pursuits. It may be an athlete with recurrent perineal tendonitis that will need to use the device immediately following the physical activity for two to three hours. Or it may be a senior patient that needs to take care of activities about their house and you would instruct the patient then to use the brace during periods of high activity to maintain their activity level. This needs to be queried at the initial patient consultation as to what tasks are important and what tasks are being interrupted with the foot and ankle pathology. Nerve entrapments about the foot and ankle are fairly resistant to surgical decompression because of the fact that they are fairly superficial and, and do not respond favorable to surgery. 
with the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO, nerve entrapments either from post-op surgical or from traction injuries of the foot and ankle respond uh, favorably with the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO. Posterior tibial tendon dysfunction in the various stages, one through four, respond uh, well to the use of an AFO. The diabetic Charcot deformities. Probably one of the biggest advantages of the Stepwell Custom AFO is to identify a stage zero Charcot arthropathy. This is a patient that has concomitant problems such as retinopathy, nephropathy, and sensory neuropathy in the foot and ankle complex. The patient may be at a fairly high activity level or may be engaged in certain recreational pursuits that the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO is recommended to prevent them from progressing to the stage of a full-blown Charcot arthropathy. Once the patient has achieved the coalescence phase in a full-blown Charcot arthropathy, the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO is recommended to prevent further degeneration through the joints of the foot and ankle. It does not exceed seven pounds per square inch in the fabrication sequence of the brace. Therefore, with confidence, you can place the use of the AFO on the patient's foot. Arthritic ankle and midfoot joint. The midfoot is traditionally very difficult to approach surgically. There are no good surgical alternatives for the fourth and fifth metatarsal cuboid uh, joint. There is consensus that the medial column fusions lead to satisfactory results. However, the midfoot continues to be an enigma in uh, surgical approaches. Therefore, the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO to augment the postoperative course or to empirically treat the midfoot is recommended during periods of high activity. With the thinning of the cartilage through the ankle joint, such as in a rheumatoid patient, many times it's accompanied with steroid therapy that will lead to osteopenia. To protect the loads on the foot and ankle, the use of the Stepwell Custom AFO does allow the patient to remain active and engaged in activities of daily living. These are but a few of the clinical examples that you may see on a regular basis in your clinic and the approach to the Stepwell Custom AFO in summary is to define the patient's level of task where it's being interrupted and then to titrate the number of hours or dosing of the Stepwell Custom AFO to that patient's activity level.